Hello and welcome to Code in Peace. In this tutorial, you will learn about how you can install TypeScript followed by Node.js. So first thing first, there are prerequisites for installing anything on your PC. So before we install the Node.js, the first thing that you need to make sure is go to your Windows Explorer. You can go to any of the folders of your choice. Then you need to go into the View tab. As you can see, we have the View tab opened over here and you will see file name extension and the hidden items unchecked. So what you have to do is you have to check both of them. In case if you don't find the option for this particular fields, you can go to the search bar on your uh, Windows key and just search for the folder options and you will see a window opening just like this. So in that case, you need to go to the view option and you will find the option to show hidden files and also for the hide extension, you need to keep it the way it is. Now what that allows you to do is, you can basically see the file extension type for each of your files that you have. Now why do we need that? You will come to know later on during this tutorial. So moving on to our first step, we need to download the Node.js. Just search for Node.js and you will find the download option over here. Just click on it. Over here you have downloaders for different operating systems. So what we will do is, as this tutorial is based on the Windows operating system, so we will select Windows installer. Let's wait for it to be downloaded. Click on run. Click on next. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. By default, all of the options are selected. Just keep it as it is. Click on next. Over here, it asks for an option to automatically install the necessary tools. We won't go with this option as we don't want our storage to be occupied unnecessarily. We will just click on next over here and then install it. Now we have our Node.js installed. So when you go to the Windows icon over here, you will find Node.js command prompt. Let's make sure that our Node.js has been installed successfully. So for that, we will verify it with the help of the node-v command. So that will let you know what the version of node.js is installed currently on your PC. And you can see that right now the current version that is installed is 18.14.0. Now to enter into the node.js console, what you need to do is just type in node and hit enter. After that, you will enter into the console for the node.js. Just type in some random command so that you can see that your Node.js is working properly. Now to exit out of it, you need to press Ctrl C twice and you will be exited out of the Node console. Now staying onto the same console, we will install the TypeScript. So in order to install the TypeScript, what you need to do is you need to type in npm install minus g TypeScript. NPM is basically the short for Node Package Manager because TypeScript is actually one of the supported platform. Just hit enter and wait for the TypeScript to be installed. So you can see that it says added one package in 18 seconds. So this means that the Node.js has installed TypeScript on our operating system successfully. Now in order to verify it, what we need to do is we will Go ahead and create a folder. So I've already created a folder with the name first script inside my C drive. And I will now create a new file over here, which will be a text document. Let's name it as hello.ts. So you see, this is why the file extension viewing was important because otherwise you could have changed the file name itself and not the file extension. So once you hit enter, it will ask you that, are you sure that you want to change the file type? Hit yes. And you will see over here that the icon also changes. Now we will again open the same document with the help of any text editor. I will use the notepad editor over here. Just click on OK. And over here we will just write down console.log hello world. Save it. And now coming back to the same Node.js command prompt. What we are going to do here, we are going to write cd, which means change directory and moving to the directory where our file is contained. So this is where our file is. Just copy the path and paste it over here and then hit enter. 
So now you can see that we have changed our current directory into the directory where our file is located which is this one over here. So now what you need to do is you need to initiate the tsc command so which is tsc minus minus initiate. So now you can see over here it has actually created a json file. Next thing what you need to do is you need to, to write down the tsc command. It now creates a hello.js file which is actually a javascript file. Now last thing to check our TypeScript if it is installed properly or not is to run the node command and then run the hello.js file. And here you can see whatever the contents was inside our type, TypeScript file has been successfully displayed onto this console. So with this I hope you have got an understanding of how you can install node.js and then the TypeScript and then also make sure at the same time that your TypeScript is working properly compiling everything. In our future sessions, we will be going through the TypeScript with the help of Visual Code Studio and I will show you how you can install the Visual Code Studio and then run your TypeScripts over there.